have had a long wait, have uh, this pair. Last, but by no means least. It's the uh, 15th and final contest of the afternoon at the Everton Park Sports Centre. Harry Woods, a Liverpool lad, bringing it home for Merseyside and Cheshire from the uh, Kirkby Club. And he'll be up against Scotland's Sam Ball. Expectant to uh, hush around the uh, arena then, as everybody just gathers their breath for the uh, final time this afternoon. Adjustment to the uh, head guard of Sam Ball. I say I always feel it's uh, a bit harder for the lads who've had to watch everybody else before them before uh, finally getting their turn. But here we go. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is about 15 to final contest of the afternoon. 60 kilogram contest, three two minute rounds between and introducing in the red board corner. Representing Kirby and Lancashire, Merseyside and Cheshire, Harry Woods. <laughs> Introducing in the blue corner, representing Scotland, Sam Ball. Woods in the red, Ball in the blue. Harry Woods, who will uh, celebrate his 17th birthday next week. No doubt hoping to give himself an early birthday present here. He's been boxing for around five or six years, Harry, and he's uh, always a good value, always good value for money. But these two haven't again, haven't bothered uh, having a look, they're just straight in. Quite an aggressive lad, Sam Ball, by the look of it. Looking to take Harry's height and reach away from him. They're all very aggressive in the opening stages. Just wants to get at his man. He'll need uh, some good conditioning if he's going to keep this pace up for the entirety of the contest. Absolutely, looks like this bout's going to be... Uh, I know Harry... Harry's no stranger to boxing at short to medium range for such a tall lad, he can actually do it, so it looks like the entirety of the bout may well be short at short and medium range. Up close and personal, I think they call it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Good body punching, Harry Woods as well, and looks like Sam is too. Yeah, they're just taking a look now. They've had a... Oh, good shot, Harry. Both tagging each other. I say, I think we could put him a 50p out and tell him to put the toes on either side, and I think that's what you're going to get with these two. Yeah, there's not too much space between them. Just uh, calming everyone down a little. The referee George Evans, good experience official. A little shot in the midst of that from uh, Sam Ball. Good punches from both of them exchanging. Just 
I think in terms of volume of punches, this is probably the uh, highest scoring first round, but uh, whether they've all registered as far as the judges are concerned remains to be seen. Certainly plenty of intent on both sides in that uh, opening two minutes. Very intense first round, and uh, the judges there are flavor, about fair, they've favoured blue. Fan, favoured Sam Ball, he's an eight, took an 8-3 lead out, and that's probably about about right. He's had a nice tight defence, and he's uh, scored some good shots on the inside against Harry. Not to deval devalue Harry's con contribution to that round, because it was absolutely excellent. Good performances from both. And they really came out all guns blazing, Sam Ball. As I say, the test for him will be whether he can continue it for three minutes, but uh, if he can, then uh, Harry Woods has got a problem because he certainly uh, unloaded a lot of punches in that first round. Not all of them landed, but obviously enough of them to uh, chalk up eight points in his favour. It looks like we're getting the same again. It's look, and he's going to try and keep it long, but I think Sam's going to come in, use his strength. Cut out the distance, make it get all these shots off short to medium range. Again, another contrast of styles. I think we've seen so many styles of boxers today. It's uh, it's great to see so much so 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 much variation. I think one of the things amateur boxing gets labelled. People say it's very similar. Each bout's the same. Well, I think we've proved today. Fifteen bouts have been completely different. Big right hand. So far, Harry Woods in this second round has managed to uh, evade it most of the time. Targeting the body that time, Ball. And he's just a bit quicker at this moment in time, Ball. He's just a bit faster than Harry, and he's just scoring the, the couple of shots because of it. But he's, again, Harry's putting up a great performance, and he's. Um, just getting outworked a little bit. Sam Ball, certainly the uh, more experienced of the pair. Boxed in uh, European and World Championships already. Yeah, that seasoning, I think, starting to show. He's, he picks his shots quite well. Yeah, he's picked off Woods there as Woods came in. Uh, second round for the Scot. I should think he's uh, sitting on a pretty healthy lead at this stage. And he's got a seven point lead, 14 to seven, at the end of that round. I think, I think again, a fair reflection on the contest. So Woods, I'm sure, will want to put in a good final round. I mean, he's boxed well all through. He's, he's, he's just Sam's just a little bit sharper, just a little bit quicker, a little bit more seasoned. But Harry, Harry Woods boxed great. So, final round of the final contest here in Liverpool. Merseyside and Cheshire represented by Harry Woods of the Kirkby Club up against uh, Scotland in the shape of Grenox, Sam Ball and Ball looks to have this one uh, under control but you never can tell The, the uh, pace has dropped just a little. 
good shot from ball over the top. And another left up. Just pick it, just them quality shots are what the judges will see. From, from ball, it's classy starting to tell. Had he's sticking in there. Yeah, ball looks like he's uh, intent on finishing in style here for the Scots. It's a, a valiant effort from uh, Harry Woods, but he's going to come up short here. He's gone in even a boy. He's been in the European and World Championships. He's made it. He's done his club proud and the association. And his mum and dad, I'm sure, are proud as well because he's boxed really well. He's had a right go. Fair play to the kid. Credit too to uh, Sam Ball and his conditioning though, because he's pretty much maintained the pace from start to finish. I wondered whether he could. Well, yeah, well, he's, he's uh, proved me wrong on that score. Yeah, you don't. He's going right to the end of the third. Definitely, you don't go to big international tournaments without being able to be fit, and he's obviously showed his he showed his real quality there towards the end. But I mean, it takes two to make a bout, and I think he's uh, had his box really well, given the given the experience he was giving away, and I think he's done great. It's a terrific end to. Uh, the afternoon's proceedings. Good, uh, solid display from Sam Ball. I think it's been a great day all over, and I think it's uh, highlighted amateur boxing. There's real quality between, especially the Merseyside and Scotland. We've got some great future stars coming Thank through. You. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Show your appreciation for both boxers, please. <laughs> With a judge's score of 23. 10, the winner, a 60 kilogram winner, ball in the blue corner. So Sam Ball it is who gets the verdict. It's another win for Scotland, but uh, overall not quite enough. And it's Merseyside and Cheshire who come out on top by uh, eight Nothing to seven. Thanks to all the boxers, thanks, yeah, to, all the boxers, thanks to all the officials, the and thanks to your good selves for your continued we're support. We're only a region Thank you. England. We boxed the national team and we've come away with a, victor a victorious win. I think that's great. Great advert for boxing locally. Yeah, well, I hope you've enjoyed the uh, best of this uh, amateur show. Merseyside and Cheshire, eight, Scotland, seven. MC just uh, confirming the uh, overall score, eight, seven in favour of Merseyside and Cheshire. Some terrific performances. Young Connor Butler in particular sticks out in my mind very early on, was uh, superb, but some great displays all round from uh, all the boxers on show here in Liverpool. But that is it for the moment until our next uh, live boxing on uh, Hatton TV from uh, Phil Duffel and uh, Damien Ridpath alongside me. It's goodbye. Goodbye.